Well, ANN7's sister publication, The New Age, is celebrating its sixth anniversary today. The newspaper was launched on this day back in 2010. TNA is the only newspaper covering news from all nine provinces, from politics to sport to entertainment and much more. The last few years have seen the paper chronicling several South African success stories. These include the FIFA World Cup, the progress made in the fight against HIV AIDS, and the news and controversies in the ever-changing political landscape in the country. Earlier, we spoke to Editor-in-Chief of TNA and ANN7 on how the journey has been so far. This is Muxin Williams. Muxin, congratulations, I guess, is in order. Uh, talk us through the lifespan of, of, uh, of TNA. I mean, it's a difficult industry to be in. It's fairly competitive. Mm -hmm. Uh, take us through the life of uh, the New Age newspaper. Well, it's, uh, it's been quite a journey for, for the New Age and its staff and uh, the shareholders. Um, mm -hmm. The paper was launched uh, in, on the 6th of December 2010 in very difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a, the new millennium has seen the decline of newspapers. Mm -hmm. So it was a very brave decision of the proprietors to, to launch a newspaper into this kind of climate. and. And, and backdrop, you know, uh, and the paper has uh, had a remarkable journey in terms of uh, breaking new grind, ground in terms of, uh, in terms of, you know, uh, innovation, in terms of uh, 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 being a very strongly provincial newspaper, mm. to the to the extent that we have six editions. This morning we published six provincial editions. Mm. Uh, uh, into the Western Cape, uh, KwaZulu Natal, Free State, Northwest, uh, Northern Cape, and Gauteng. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we will get to nine editions and cover mm. the entire country and become the country's truly mm. national newspaper. Mm. Uh, another point to make, a uh, very important point in this climate uh, where newspapers are in decline, is the paper has been profitable since year two, you know. so. Mm. It's been a, it's, it's a remarkable story, mm. phenomenal story, mm. actually. Mm. But, uh, I mean, in this day and age, you're competing with social media, you're competing with broadcast media. I mean, how difficult is it to try and adapt uh, your newspaper or your, your, your version uh, to the likes of social media? Yes, and I think it's a, it's a universal challenge. Um, I read quite a lot about, you know, international newspapers in the United States, uh, Europe and elsewhere. Uh, and we are all in the same battle for, for, for in trying to come to terms with social media uh, from a print position. Uh, and we have steadily grown our online offering. Uh, we also offer our, our readers a, an electronic version uh, of the newspaper. Um, uh, and yes, you know, it's also using social media to market the paper. Uh, we have also uh, broken new ground in terms of uh, events, you know, and we've got a, a very uh, popular uh, event called the Business Briefing, mm. uh, which was started about four years ago, five years ago, and it's been very successful. Uh, mm. And it has helped to, to, to help, uh, it has helped the newspaper market itself, uh, uh, provided the revenue stream, uh, and it's done, you know, also very successfully in conjunction with uh, another broadcast company, you know, so the SABC. Mm. So it's, it's, it's been, a, it's been a, mm. a great help to the, to the paper itself. Mm. Mm. There's always been critics, Maxine, you know that, that the New Age is the, the, the mouthpiece of the government. I mean, what is the premise of the paper in terms of its balanced reporting, uh, the way you go about using your stories or, or covering the country? Well, in essence, uh, you know, it's been about uh, saying that the glass is half full rather than half empty about our country. Mm. Um, we've adopted a position uh, away from other mainstream mm. kind of newspapers that's been strongly anti-government. Uh, and our position has been, you know, that uh, there's a lot, yes, that is, is, is going wrong in, 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 in administrations mm. across the country, but there's a lot that's going right. And uh, we see our job also to celebrate the achievements of our people. Uh, and uh, we have not stood back, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to criticizing government for maladministration, mm. corruption, but we have not been shy either to praise government where they've succeeded. Mm. Uh, so I think we have a kind of a unique position away from a rather adversarial kind of media uh, uh, in terms of its relationship with the government. Mm. 
Just in terms of growth now, taking the paper forward, where your focus is going to be? Well, I think uh, you touched on the whole question of multimedia. Mm. Um, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the need for us to diversify our offering. Mm. In South Africa, I think uh, we will still be printing newspapers in 10, 15 years from now. But the reality is, you know, that a lot of people will be consuming uh, their news uh, on devices, you mm. know, mobile phones, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, you know, uh, tablets, uh, and, uh, yeah. tablets and streaming, uh, you know, so, so that is the future. Mm. But, you know, with our emerging society, we are still uh, in a situation where people want to pick up mm. a newspaper uh, and, uh, you know, read the hard copy as well. So there's still mm. room for us to grow uh, over the next five to ten years, you know. But I need to say also, you know, that uh, it's been uh, a, 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 a great... Uh, we have had great support from our shareholders. Uh, they, you know, it's been a journey that nobody kind of thought that that uh, we would succeed on. Uh, nobody gave us a chance in the first. Uh, he, you know, people say the paper won't won't last a year. You know, mm. and today mm. we mark the sixth anniversary, which is remarkable mm. uh, in 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 the history of launching newspapers. You know, mm. uh, that we've survived six years, and yeah. and we're looking forward to the next. Uh, six and uh, next decade, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a new age. The new age is a remarkable story. Mm. Mm. Uh, on that note, last, my last question is obviously it's been difficult in terms of it f it's fallen under the Oak Bay Group, uh, you know, well documented hardships. I mean, how have you uh, come through that? Uh, and talk us also through the staff complement that you've got at the new age, uh, just in terms of the, uh, the employment. Uh, uh, you know, your, the number of people that you employ and give opportunities well, to? Well, the staff is uh, currently at about 180. Um, mm. uh, we have been uh, uh, very blessed uh, by, by the fact that we run our own uh, internship academy. Mm. And uh, at last count, we probably have produced about 220, 240 young journalists that have come through the academy over the last number of years. If you look at the newsroom of the New Age, and I some of them are even on your channel today. Mm. We have come through our academy, you know, and that I think is one of our proudest achievements mm. uh, that we've been able to set up this academy uh, and, 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 and been able to give opportunities to, to young people who would not have been in media today mm. if it wasn't for the, mm. the New Ages Academy. Mm. Uh, in, in January, February next year, we uh, will be having another intake, I think, of about 12 interns uh, who will start the 2017 program. Mm. And we hope to have another three core, uh, in total three courses mm. or, or three uh, kind of intakes next year, uh, you know, again, you know, to produce these young people. And that has been an incredible achievement. Um, mm. Mm. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank Six you, Peter. Years, long Thank you. Last. Yeah. Thank you very Congrats. much. Thanks very much.